What's going on guys, my name is Jeff and this is Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to talk about what you need to know when you're selecting substrate for your aquarium. What's going on guys, Jeff here with another Mad Hatter's Reef video and if you're new to Mad Hatter's Reef this is where I talk about everything reef tank related so if you love reef tanks like I do gently press that subscribe button in the face all right guys we're back with another video and today we're going to be talking about what you need to know when you're selecting substrate for your reef tank i actually shot this video a while back when i was doing a video for premium aquatics some people might think that it is just as easy as just going to the store buying it and throwing it in your tank but there's a little bit more to it different substrates do different things for you and we're going to talk about all of that in today's video and that's enough out of me so let's kick the tires and light the fires all right guys so today what we're going to be talking about is grain size of your substrate now substrate goes by a number of different names it goes by aragonite it goes by substrate it also goes by sand and there are different things that you can achieve within your reef tank when you use different grain sizes of aragonite. So up here in our top left hand corner, this is an example of a very coarse aragonite that is available. Some of the benefits of a coarse aragonite is especially in a tank like mine where you have extremely high flow that if you have a substrate that has a little bit of weight to it, that's a little coarse is going to not blow around as much as something let's say as our bottom right hand corner where we have a very very fine sand i believe that this is a 5.5 millimeter size grain and this is a 0.5 so there's an extremely large difference between the two of these products as you go through you can kind of see the transition in different sizes so this is a 5.5 I believe this is a 3.5 then you have a 2.5 then you go into a 2.0 8.8 and then a 0.5 even though that there's a big difference in numbers between these two sizes i would go as far as to say that they are pretty similar in size some other things to consider when you are looking at grain size of your substrate is how deep of a sand bed you are going to have if you're going to have a deep sand bed a coarse heavy offering a lot of space between each grain substrate is probably not going to be the best idea and in fact I would recommend against it if you're looking to have a deep sand bed I would strongly recommend that you go with a small grain sand specifically being that if you have small grain sand you're not going to deal with the same problems as you would with a heavier more coarse sand and the reason being there's a lot of space that's open within the grains of sand here and what can happen with that is detritus can become trapped within the grains and end up becoming a nutrient sink if not kept clean where if you have a more fine sand it's not going to allow detritus to get in there get captured with a more coarse sand in a deep sand bed there's more potential of hydrogen sulfide pockets to form so ideally when you're looking into a deep sand bed which we could make an entire video on this subject alone and we should preferably you want to look into your more small grains of sand as opposed to a much more coarse type sand and again if your go get is to have a shallow sand bed at that point you want to look for a more coarse type sand something that's not going to blow around and has a little bit more weight in my aquarium alone i have a very hard time of keeping sand in the front center of my aquarium and that is due to the flow of the power heads and a sand that has a little bit more weight to it that has bigger pieces is ideal for that and adding that to my aquarium could potentially reduce the amount of bare bottom that i have in my tank another aspect of the sand in which you keep in your tank 
is the copepods that can thrive in a tank. So if you have a very fine sand in your tank, most often you're going to see populations of smaller copepods really thrive. And if you have a more coarse sand, like we do up here in the top left hand corner, you're going to see your amphipods, which is a much larger copepod, thrive and be able to reproduce very well in your tank. All right guys, so that's a brief overview of some of the things that you need to consider when you are looking for the type of sand that you're going to put into your reef tank. It's obviously a little bit more to it than somebody might think. And I hope I covered a couple of things that could be potentially very important to you when you are looking for substrate or aragonite or sand for your reef tank. All right guys, so that's a wrap on what you need to know when it comes to selecting substrate for your aquarium. And I have a question for you. We're gonna pop up a poll and I never know which side. I think it's this side, but it might be that side. I don't know. Um, so what we're gonna do is put up a poll on what you believe is the perfect sand bed. We're gonna have three different options for you. We're gonna have shallow sand bed, deep sand bed, or no sand bed. Hit the poll and cast your vote. I'm interested in what you guys prefer when it comes to a sand bed in your reef tank. So this week for the $25 gift certificate giveaway, we're gonna be doing that on my Facebook page. So if you wanna jump over to Facebook, search for Mad Hatter's Reef, and when I pop up, hit that like button, and then I'm gonna be announcing the winner for last week's question of the week on my Facebook page, and we're gonna be doing that over there this week and as far as for this week's question of the week what do you want to know more about in the reef tank hobby leave a comment down below hit the like button make sure you subscribe to mad hatter's reef and you might win yourself a 25 dollar gift certificate to premium aquatics all right guys that's going to do it for today i want to thank you for joining me if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button and if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up i'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.